he said that you from 3-0 and he from 3-1 and y'all from two different gangs. I mean, is it two thirties in, 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 in y'all city? Like, Absolutely not. Oh. It's only one thirties in, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He's a nobody. <laughs> He's absolutely a nobody. Nobody from my hood knows him. He knows nobody from my hood. I don't even get why he called himself NHB Swoop. or with, That has nothing to even... You wouldn't even have a name like that being from my hood. You mean to tell me, like, nobody you know from 30s even seen this dude before or heard the name? Nobody. <laughs> nobody. I I, and I know all the homies. Like, even the weird homies that I would think would hang with a name like that don't know this <laughs> With the cannon, ain't crashing for the camera. Y'all be wolfing for the net, looking stupid on the net. Goofy's getting no respect, don't get caught up in these platforms. YouTubers undercover, I see they trying to be us, but we ain't never seen them. Man, that boy ain't really bleeding. Catch them out, I'ma bleed them. No, this shit seem evil, but I do it for my people. Neighborhood watch, but don't speak on what you see, though. Being a no welcome and welcome back to S Motherfucking Wiggins TV. Pull the shit to hit the fan again, man. Y'all you know saying we we here to address some bullshit, man, some weirdo. You feel me? A internet troll, a faker, a goofball, and you know what I'm saying. On a positive note, you know what I'm saying. We gonna link to some real dudes out in Minnesota, man. This right here, long overdue. You feel me? Hey, like a wise man once told me, man. Once you get goofies out the way, real niggas gonna connect, man. So please welcome a reputable out there in Minnesota, man. Give it up for Righteous from the motherfucking Road Hat Man. Plus. Yeah, what it do, man? What it do? Oh, yeah, man. Let's see. What's happening, man? As witness, man. Long overdue for show, for show. You already know, blood. Man, what? Let's, man. Hey, man, first things first, man. I hate we even got to talk about this goofy, man. But who is NHB Swoop, man? NA, whoever this persona is. He's a nobody. He's absolutely a nobody. Nobody from my hood knows him. He knows nobody from my hood. I don't even get why he called himself NHB Swoop. Or what, that has nothing to even... You wouldn't even have a name like that being from my hood. You feel me? Like, this dude is a clown. He's probably one of those encampment a drifter that, in, that in drifted into Minneapolis on some George Floyd type stuff. You know, since the George Floyd happens, we got a lot of drifters and weirdos coming up there to get the services and shit that they be handing out. He looks like he's one of them. Uh, for sure, for sure. But, but hold up, hold up, man, because th this Goofy did a video, man, and he he uh, came to, to the area. And uh, he said that you from 3-0 and he from 3-1, and y'all from two different gangs. I mean, is there a, is it two thirties in, 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 in y'all city? Like Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh. It's only one thirty in, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. You know, everybody can Google it if they need be. You know, simple as that. But there's not, there's no such thing as a three one in Minnesota. Like, oh my, God. at all. Like, me, like, I don't really know you from the set like that, blood. Like me and you ain't never kick it like that, blood. You from the, you from the O, blood. You from the oh? I'm from the three one blood. I'm from Trey one. We're not. He was riding around. See what he was. That's how I know he either can't be from up there. You know where we from? He can't be from the hood or anything like that because he not got. He didn't get out his car one time in the vehicle. Like in the video, he didn't get out his car not one time. He stayed in the vehicle. Even at King Park, where he talked about I'm riding, but at the but his verbiage, he like I'm riding through the set. I'm in the set. If you in the set, get out your car. <laughs> right. If you in a set, go to one of our stores. Go to actually one of our parks. Because King Park, that's our park, no doubt. But that's not, that's one of our parks. That's one of our parks. And it's definitely not the one, if anybody was to link a park with our hood, they could link that one to ours for sure. But that's not the first one you would even speak of. You know, you would even speak on Phelps. Man, you might even say Potterhorn before, <laughs> before you even say King. Uh, you feel me, like, man? That's so he didn't get out of his car not one time. Man, you know what? And y'all not even neighborhood. Let's let's get that clear. Y'all not neighborhood blood. And that and let's clear that up too. Yeah, we're not neighborhood bloods. Like, 
we don't we don't we don't run under the car stuff. That's California. Right. You know? Like people might hear like, oh, but y'all rolling thirties, y'all gotta be under the rolling car. No, we established the rolling thirties before cars even became a thing as far as like especially with the die moves. Because I know it's always been something sort of like when the crib split, like with the with the um the A train and the sixties type stuff. But as far as die moves Especially us in Minnesota, we we was already the thirties before the blood and the Don Moves put us on it with the set. We was already the thirties. Oh man! So when they came, they added to it. Like we was already, we was already our own hood. Like we already had our own hood. We had, we like we just wasn't Don Moves. So you mean you no? Know, um, you mean to tell me like nobody you know from thirties even seen this dude before or heard the name? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody, I didn't, I, and I know all the homies. Like even the weird homies that I would think would hang with him like that, don't know this. <laughs> I had to get them on the line, like, and they hot because they, they you can't take the weird homie spot. <laughs> what the <laughs> f- are you on? <laughs> you know? Oh my! So it's like, so it's like, yeah. If you from the hood, you definitely know me. We definitely know me. But that's that's a definite. But listen, that's let, not even a. That's the thing. I'm glad you said that because in the video he said that you knew him when y'all was younger and he loved you and uh, why you doing this to him? Like, I mean, man, <laughs> you don't recognize me, blood, or you don't remember me from back in the day or whatever, right? You know, I was like, damn, blood, I love blood. What the? F- What's it on? Like. Man, hold up. You love blood. This nigga don't even know you, bro. You gay. You can get your Thelma from good times. I love him. Head I love him. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. Minneapolis is a small... I'm from Minneapolis, born and raised. And Minneapolis... Like I said, it's real family based. You're gonna know if your family, which is both my side of the family, is in Minneapolis. You know what I'm saying? Mom side, dad side, both sides is from the hood. Both sides grew up in the hood, so it's just like there wouldn't be. If I knew you as a kid, I know everybody I know as a kid. I still know right now. I know them by face. Oh boy, that's how how small the black community is in Minneapolis. Everybody knows each other. Everybody. Because either your moms and dads grew up together, or they dated or something. Your grandma hung out. All that. Right. So, and then, like, what people understand is, a lot of people's family is, families, like, migrated to Minneapolis from the South and every other places because it was money there. Right. So, like, so that influx, so that's why it's not a real big black population. But if you know people, you know everybody. You know everybody. Y'all know everybody in Minneapolis down there to this day. So for him to be like, especially if we grew up as kids, I would know this. He, he, he don't, man. Oh, boy. He so. don't know nobody. He would be able to pull up because that would be the first thing people try to do. It's like, man, okay, you don't believe me, I'm finna call such and such, hit right. such and such, and let them tell you about me and all of this and that and the third. And that would have eased I could have been like, Oh, okay, you you do such and such. I don't know you, but such and such you. He Real can't shit. even do that. Cause he don't know nobody. Even the stuff he's saying about the hood is just it's something like somebody that's never been or never knew nobody in our hood. Don't wear the tea hat as representation of our hood. That's for one. That's why I still got big tea on my hat. I'm still whooping like that. Blood on the set. Southside 30s. We don't have a hat. We not like, we not like, that's why I know he's just, he's been just on the internet. He's been on the internet looking at interviews and watching these shit. Uh. <laughs> and trying to piece together a lifestyle. That nigga was in a mirror watching YouTube trying to piece together a lifestyle and a persona to be he came up with NHB Swoop. Oh, man. In, in, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, man. So you know how it got with the when, the when the dope movement came and they started spreading out, like either to spread out to go get the money 
you know, in different little states, like Oklahoma, all of that shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Or, or to get kicked out of the state of California. I know they was doing that to some of the bangers back then. They was giving them ultimatums, like, you know, they get kicked out of the state of California. We one of those places that it came to. Oh, all right. For and basically, sure. you know, and they came, and they came in, I want to say, early 80s. Early 80s. One of for sure. Maybe, maybe 81, 81, 82, around that time. Oh, all right. Damn, that's... And if, and if it's sooner, and if it's sooner, everybody's new. I'm, I'm, I'm young, I'm OG, but I'm young. You feel me? So it's like, we go generations back. But... <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I believe definitely was like early 80s, around that time. Because the, um, you know, like I said, it was money up there, the dope movement was a big thing back right at that time. And the same thing with the with the uh, with the Chris, they came up there and did the same thing and and uh, politic and you know put people on and spread those how they spread it and that's how the gang the culture got there in Minneapolis. But being that we Midwest, let me say this: so now being that we Midwest and we close to Chicago, we have an influx of the Chicago gangs too. All right. Vice Lord, Gangster Disciples, um, you know, Blackstone, all of that stuff. And they came first because they were closer, you know, but they came first. So they had that S of the game stuff first. But being that, so few people in our hood, before they became Don Moves, though, they was GDs or Vice Lords or, you know, Stones or whatever that you may have it. All right, um, for sure. Got so it was like, because a lot of people, yeah, so a lot of the, the people that lived in the hood first, like a lot of the uh, older relatives and older families that lived in the hood first, like I said, they migrated from places. Some migrated from Chicago. Some migrated from Gary, Indiana, uh, uh, Memphis, uh, Nebraska, you know, California, like all of that type of shit. So then they come where they was like they moved over south. Everybody was predominantly over south at first. That's where the black community was at. It was small over north. It wasn't really people didn't really start moving north from north from over north like that. They really was over south, so For sure. You got cause the south side is bigger too. The south side is a lot bigger than the north side. The north side is about fifty blocks before it started. What I mean and I guess let me say with the geographical area, how I'm describing it, when I say how big it is, I'm saying it in terms of where black people roam, where you, where you have our people's activities roaming before it becomes the suburbs or outside of what you would call the hood or, or the, you know, areas. Right. The north side got about 50 blocks before they become something else. Where over south, we have about 60 blocks each way. So 60 blocks north and south, 60 blocks east and west, like that, before it start becoming to where you know more more so white people like for for say our hood our hood is the 30s but we stretch well into the 50s oh, because you have different families like you have you know the homie family yeah they was living in the hood but you know they ain't gonna move all the way to bloomington or to burnsville so they gonna move into the 50s oh, but we, no gang was taking that over so We'll be spread out through the 50s, the 40s, you know what I'm saying? And that's just from north to south. Like, we start at, we start at where it's the busy street called Lake Street. Soon as you, that's the divider for our hood and our lower half, which hold our ops and stuff. Oh, for so sure. Once you, and Lake Street is considered, Lake Street is called Lake Street, but it's considered 30th Street. It's really the 30th block, but they call it Lake Street. So after that, it becomes 31st Street, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, and so on. And that's all our area. So our area, just imagine, like, our area stretch from east to west probably a few miles, probably two, three miles. From north to south, probably two miles, two and a half, three miles. Oh, shit. All right. So, so we all through there. So it's like, so it was like, yeah, but we but we predominantly in the thirties because that's where it started, and 
that's where a lot of the families bought their homes. You know, all our parents grew up there, and they stayed there, so I moved out. And that's how you got the Damus to spread really across the city because it's a family thing. It's not necessarily, it's tied to the neighborhood per se, but it's tied to the families as well. So you could be, like, if your family is, you know, I ain't going to say last names or nothing like that, but no. if your family is known by a certain last name, right, but you're from the hood, and they know that your family is tied to the hood. It don't matter if you moved over north or Bloomington or Brooklyn Park because you carry that with you. So it's like, hey, I don't care. I might move over here. Like, I know it's different California if you move because they got different people stationed in different places. Right. Where it ain't like that in Minneapolis. It's not like that in Minneapolis. You got all the gangs are predominantly in Minneapolis. So once you start going outside of Minneapolis, there's no gang presence, mostly white presence. You know what I'm saying? White people, you got the foreigners, Asians, Somalians, Africans, all of that stuff, Native, Native Americans. So when you go, like, let's say, if your people, if you're from the hood, but then your mom moves out the hood, she might move to Brooklyn Park. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come, you know, you're going to catch the bus and go back to the hood and, and all of that stuff too. You know what I'm saying? But you still, you still from the hood. So, yo, so you might, lived there for 10 years in Brooklyn Park uh -huh. and you might grow up and have your kids in Brooklyn Park but you might put them on to the set and they might not never have dabbled into the set you feel me for sure but they'll represent that where they go but then you know they, if you're a real one you'll bring your people through the set like it ain't no no fucking shit like that if you're a real one you're gonna make sure because it's family based so you, if you bring them to the set you bring them all around the family right let me ask you about this. Mm -hmm. I seen this goofy say something, man, about a mm -hmm. purple. Uh, uh, is it true that they wear purple rags? The uh, the purple. Uh, Y'all wear purple rags. The thirties. No, 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 no. So, is that's why I say this nigga got to be he hearing stuff about shit. He he might be hearing stuff about shit from people that's not involved with the hood and he's trying to piece it together. So this is where the purple, the purple come from a faction of the families, you know, that they, they call the T-Mobs. Mm. They still 30. They still don't move. They still, they just, they little faction is called the T-Mobs. And they dabbled in purple. They wore purple. They didn't have purple flags or nothing like that. They wore purple. Oh. They might put a purple pandemic on, but it's like, you know, but like I said, it's like the inner clicks. Like, every hood got their little inner clicks, but they still a part of the big Oh, all right. So, for sure, for sure. The whole 30 as a whole, no, we do not wear purple. Damn, that's crazy, man. Well, man. Yeah. Righteous, man. I appreciate but, you, man, with that history, man. and Oh, uh, yeah, it's no goofy, doubt. Man. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Uh, oh, what's up? You, you dropping any new music, man? Because, uh. I checked out some of your stuff. Yeah, I got some new music getting ready to drop soon, man. The um, it's called the Righteous Light Two. For sure, I'm getting ready to drop that. Um, my nephew got a project out, Tragic YG. Um, and my homeboy Ty Stick got a got a project out. He got so everybody check him out. Check Tragic YG out. Check my dog Savage YG out. Check my big bro K Wu out too. And we all from the hood. We all from the same hood. Real 30s. You know what I'm saying? These Real my dogs. 30s. Yeah. You know, these my dogs. Shout out Doggy and T. The show. Shout out Gurkin. Everybody from the turf. I ain't gonna leave nobody out, man. Shout out everybody. Free the real. Free all my dogs. Free the fakes. Free the snitches. Y'all know how I will. On the set. Well, you got it, man. Righteous. Minneapolis 30s, S. Wiggins TV. Rest in peace to LGBT yes, goof. We out of here. Go. I got a tear rolling down my eye, blood. Y'all just can't even see it, blood. I'm so hurt and irritated. Stop be around no motherfucking black people. Fuck black people. Give a fuck about black people.